while retail sales jumped more than 16 percent last year, accounting firm PricewaterhouseCoopers noted most of the growth came in the first half of last year. Researcher Michael Chang explained that the end of COVID-induced border restrictions led to a sudden surge of inbound visitors. They snapped up luxury items, clothing, as well as medicines and cosmetics. However, as more people chose to spend the weekend across the border in the final months of 2023, the catering and retail industries began to suffer. PwC is cautious about this year's outlook. The firm believes total sales could gain 5%, reaching $428 billion. The growth will partly be driven by the Twins, a new shopping and entertainment complex in Kai Tech, which will open its doors in the second half of the year. Chang also predicted less and less Hong Kongers will head north for shopping and dining over time for practical reasons. But what I'm, what I'm anticipating is obviously the price differential is going to be shortened or even less uh, because remedy is going to recover. Uh, uh, once the, the US, dollar, US dollar as well as the Hong Kong dollar is going to soften because of the weakening of the, uh, or the, or the, the lowering of the interest rate uh, in the second half of, uh, of this year. Yeah. Okay, so, so I would see this trend to be, to be diminished much, much faster going um, into the second half of 2024. He agreed with authorities that more mega events should be organized in Hong Kong to lure visitors and boost the economy. Janice Lowe, Cable News.